Well, not everybody is looking forward to the holidays, especially those uh, who are heading down to the beaches. Now, many of the residents uh, in KZN and other coastal parts of the country very upset, especially though M. Fulani, uh, residents. But uh, their issue is that they're having sewage flowing directly through their streets and more worryingly, more disgustingly, is having sewage flowing directly into their homes. And the metro has been crippled by rampant corruption, malfeasance and maladministration uh, for a long time now. You'll remember back in November, uh, ENC actually conducted a site uh, visit to the area, also other areas, to try and assess the situation, especially after very heavy rains and how much that impacts where sewage flows to uh, in areas like M. Fulani as well, exposing the scale of uh, many service delivery failures uh, that residents are having to live with. So what is the latest? Where are the leaks? Where are the weak points? It was ENCA's Mankoba and Tunu that has that story for us. It's now three years, three solid years. An unenviable sight, a whole yard drenched in raw human sewage. Well, it's a dark situation here as the smell of raw sewage permeates the air. It's a daily nightmare for the Mshambi family who say it's now becoming a health hazard. They say life here is now becoming unbearable. medication all the time. Despite a presidential imbizo in August and several attempts to reach out, 70-year-old Mshambi says her cries have fallen on deaf ears. But today, it's and I can't, I can't even breathe. I can't come out of the house because of the sewage. The whole house is full of sewage. It's running in the house. 74-year-old Francis Hugo's house has also become a casualty. Wheelchair bound, she says she struggles greatly to get in and out of her home and is forced to wear a mask day and night. To sleep with a mask is a struggle, but I had to. I had to sleep with a mask. Because of its wooden floor and the stench that's coming through the, the floors, we can't sleep without, we can't talk even without the mask. She says she's got nothing to celebrate this year. We don't have a Christmas. What are we going to celebrate? Nothing, because there's not, not a single family is coming here by me. No one. I let the municipality know. Nobody came. I've asked them just to suck for me. They said no. It's the tr uh, I must pay a thousand rand for that trucks that the municipality sent out to do the drains. So, so I'm suffering, really suffering. When I first visited this area in November, the municipality promised it was doing its best to address the situation. Upon my return, they shifted responsibility by referring us to rainwater, who they say have now taken over. But rainwater could not be reached for comment. Meanwhile, Christmas will be a bleak affair for the many families forced to bear the situation. Wow.